Hi guys, welcome to day four of Skincare Week. Today's video is aftershave, balms, creams, stuff like that. I haven't got that many because I haven't tried that many and two, I'm afraid, are going to be like cutaways. So one is from a long time ago. I'm going to first start off with the bad and get it out of the way. The one that I'm not a fan of is this and it's by L'Oreal, I'm an expert. It is the, well it was new a few months ago, it was the Hydra Power Refreshing Post Shave Balm Anti-Discomfort. This was very sticky, it like leaves your skin tacky afterwards. I don't really want that after I've shaved and gone through the whole process of shaving and bleh, and then having to stick something sticky and it remains sticky on top. First off it's really difficult to manage because it's very liquidy as you can see it moving around the bottle. I do really like the packaging, the packaging is a plus and I like the blue colour with the bubbles, I like the packaging, like the black big like top bit and like the sleek packaging, L'Oreal packaging is very nice but product is what counts at the end of the day and it's very liquidy so it runs all over your hands and when you apply it after you've shaven it just leaves your face very tacky like I don't mind a little bit of tackiness to start with and then like it filters off but this just stays tacky and it's not a pleasant experience so that's why I've only used it like three times and I'm like I can't use that anymore so do not recommend that. Going to continue with something that I haven't actually got a physical example of, but I used this a long time ago, and it's the Nivea for Men, Nivea for Men Post Shave Balm. And now, I use the sensitive one because it was a long time ago, I used it at uni, I used to use the sensitive one in the white bottle, and this bottle, the packaging I like, but it's very unpractical, practical, because it's like a ceramic bottle, so it's hard to travel with because it might break. Well, I don't know if it's actually ceramic, but it's like, not plastic. And secondly, it just doesn't stop because it's not got like a lid like, I'm just going to use this example, like a very thin, a bubble just flew out. This has got like a very thin, like a stopper. The other one is literally like that big, so it just keeps pouring out and that's really annoying. But it was quite a thick liquid from what I remember and it was it worked really well. It was just a bit thick and I prefer something a bit thinner these days. Moving on to something that's fairly recent that I've well, I've only started using it fairly recently and I've been using this all the time. It's from one of my favourite skincare brands and that's the Botanics from Boots. And this is the Men's Aftershave Balm. It's a, like the packaging start off, this is how packaging should be. Pumps are my friend. I love pumps so much because you just get the right amount of product in one pump. There's not a lot of mess. You've got a cap that just sits nicely over the top so you don't get it messy everywhere and it locks down. You can't like get that off re easily, so I do really like pumps. It's a very thin consistency, it's a light thin consistency, which is what I really like. The smell is non-offensive, it doesn't really have a smell, and you don't really need too much, and it's really good at soothing. Um, it does say hydrates for 24 hours and soothes and cools for all skin types. Not sure about um, the 24 hours, but when I shave, I normally do it in the evenings, not tend to do it in the morning, so, and then in the mornings I wash my face afterwards, so, yeah, I do really like that. Moving on to another one that I haven't actually got a physical example of, and that is the L'Oreal, another L'Oreal one, but the Men Expert just, there'll be a picture here because I've used it before, and I've shown it, it's in my, like, top skincare favourites of all time, but I'll do a clip. But yeah, I do really like that because it's kind of a hybrid product. It's half a moisturiser, half a skincare balm thing. And yeah, so it's really nice because it is a bit thicker and you can use it as like a proper moisturiser. You can just use it as a moisturiser full stop. And yeah, it does soothe. It's really nice. I used to use it all the time and go through it quite quickly and I've used multiples. So yeah, it's really good as well. Next one is this which is the Dove Men Plus Care Post Shave Balm in Hydrate. I'm not sure you can get it in the other things but this packaging I love as well because it's very precise and this is like my ultimate favourite. It like just squirt, squirts out as much as you need. Um, it's got a very precise nib and I started using it. It's on the floor, it's gone. Bye. Um, I started using that after using the Nivea one and the Nivea one was really difficult to use but that is so much better than Nib is Precise and it's really light, nice fragrance, really good at soothing, it's non-tacky, non-sticky, it's really nice, 
and light and that's what I want in a post-shave balm. Hope you enjoyed today's video or instalment of Skincare Week and we talked about our shave balms. Tomorrow's video is all about hairstyling and in particular matte clays. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Give it a like if you liked it as well and I'll see you next time. Bye!